Sirach, Ecclesiasticus 22. A slothful man is compared to a filthy stone, and everyone will hiss him out to his disgrace. A slothful man is compared to the filth of a dunghill. Every man that takes it up will shake his hand. An evil-nurtured man is the dishonor of his father that begat him, and a foolish daughter is born to his loss. A wise daughter shall bring an inheritance to her man, but she that lives dishonestly is her father's heaviness. She that is bold dishonors both her father and her man, but they both shall despise her. A tale out of season is as music in mourning, but stripes and correction of wisdom are never out of time. Whoso teaches a fool is as one that glues a pot sherd together, and as he that wakens one from a sound sleep. He that tells a tale to a fool speaks to one in a slumber. When he has told his tale, he will say, what is the matter? If children live honestly and have wherewithal, they shall cover the baseness of their parents. But children being haughty through disdain and want of nurture do stain the nobility of their kindred. Weep for the dead, for he has lost the light. And weep for the fool for he wants understanding. Make little weeping for the dead, for he is at rest, but the life of the fool is worse than death. Seven days do men mourn for him that is dead, but for a fool and a wicked man all the days of his life. Talk not much with a fool, and go not to him that has no understanding. Beware of him, lest you have trouble, and you shall never be defiled with his fooleries. Depart from him, and you shall find rest, and never be disquieted with madness. What is heavier than lead, and what is the name thereof but a fool? Sand and salt and a mass of iron is easier to bear than a man without understanding. As timber girt and bound together in a building cannot be loosed with shaking, so the heart that is established by advised counsel shall fear at no time. A heart settled upon a thought of understanding is as a fair plastering on the wall of a gallery. Pails set on a high place will never stand against the wind. So a fearful heart in the imagination of a fool, cannot stand against any fear. He that pricks the eye will make tears to fall, and he that pricks the heart makes it to show her knowledge. Whoso casts a stone at the birds, frays them away, and he that upbraids his friend breaks friendship. Though you drew a sword at your friend, yet despair not. For there may be a returning to favor. If you have opened your mouth against your friend, fear not, for they may be a reconciliation. Rather, for there may be a reconciliation, except for upbraiding, or pride, or disclosing of secrets, or a treacherous wound. For for these things every friend will depart. Be faithful to your neighbor in his poverty, that you may rejoice in his prosperity. Abide steadfast unto him in the time of his trouble, that you may be heir with him in his heritage. For a mean estate is not always to be contemned, nor the rich that is foolish to be had in admiration. As the vapor and smoke of a furnace goes before the fire, so reviling before blood. I will not be ashamed to defend a friend, neither will I hide myself from him. And if any evil happen unto me by him, 
everyone that hears it will beware of him. Who shall set a watch before my mouth and a seal of wisdom upon my lips, that I fall not suddenly by them, and that my tongue destroy me not? 